Hello everybody and welcome back to another Jurassic World Fact Set video. So, um, this video I thought I might as well, uh, showcase to you since there is a new Dinosaur of the Week and I didn't get to scan any do uh, new dinosaurs since there was no s new scan codes for them so I couldn't get any new ones but... <laughs> but what I will do is showcase the new Nothosaurus since I'm pretty excited about that one. That was the one I was excited for. I did already, um, do, uh, like, track it down and do stuff like that, but we're gonna do it again, okay? So, and, uh, maybe I'll just talk about something random while doing that, you know? Like, yeah, don't get bored, because that will be scored, anyway. So let's get towards it. Let's walk towards it, ready? Okay, I'm I'm near it, so now we can do it. All right, uh, Nothosaurus. Boop, 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 boop. Okay, there we go. All right, yes, I like this guy a lot from Camp Cretaceous, so that's why I really like it. But, um, yeah, it looks really cool. But uh, what we are gonna do is track it down and do the lab thingy. And then we're gonna do a few more quizzes, you know. Oh yeah, so let's get to doing the trucker game. <sighs> trucker game. Trucker game. Whoa. <laughs> oh my goodness. My computer just fell. Cause I got distracted. And also, I'm staring at a guy that looks like the guy. That looks like a guy, and then there's another guy that has a beard. Uh, they're weird. It's an ad. Anyway, uh, so next, next, next. Skip all this. I already know how to do it. Let's see, let's see if we can get another gold trophy. And another gold trophy. Oh, it's a different environment now. I want it to be in water, though. We it, last time I did the novice source, it was in the desert. You know this, but what about the other one that actually does sort of show water? Because I want to do that. Uh, you know me. I love water. Actually, what if I... Wait a minute, I just had an idea. So, a long time ago for Easter, like in 2018, I got a GoPro, which allowed me to record underwater. And I wanted, I wanted, I want a new one since that broke. Oh, and by the way, I did, I was going to get a drone for my birthday a few years ago. But the, it didn't work when we got it, so we ha so we're still planning on getting a new one. So <laughs> imagine Drake doing videos with uh, a drone or a, a GoPro underwater. Cause I remember doing that when I did have that GoPro, but it would be pretty cool. And now we got another gold trophy. I, I'm the pro at this. Oh my gosh. Oh man, cause it actually works this time and is not glitching. I can actually do it. So great. Anyway, go back to lab. Let's let's do it again. I already know what I'm supposed to do. I'm a pro at... Well, I'm not really a pro at this one. But... Yeah, I'm, I'm also gonna do... Oh, and now I'm doing level 2. Okay. That's fine. I can do that. Alright. Don't get scared, Drake Dylan. You can do it. Oh, well, there's two. I saw two of them. Two of the thingies. Alright, you know, we can do it. Oh, no, no. Wait, that's not the right one. Let's get level two. This one's gonna be kind of hard. Level two, I already did one of level two, but I, I, I never did a level three yet. I'm kind of creeped out to do that, though. I'm kind of scared. That one's gonna be crazy. I'll probably never do that, so... But if I will, I might do it if we get to 500 subscribers by the end of the year. So, if you want me to do that, subscribe. But you're also going to have to watch my subscriber special, because maybe that's where I'm going to do it in. Anyway, uh, sure, I know you love the shore, sure. You think I have to put it on the door, but no. Alright, yes, and we can do level 3, but we're not going to do that right now. But we are going to uh, quit and do some quizzes, which is going to be fun, because I love the quizzes. But, um, 
Yeah, so we in order to do that, we have to go to the finial. So there's still a lot of dinos uh, to scan that we didn't scan yet. And speaking of that, there's also free Dominion ones that we didn't get. Apparently, the Lystrosaurus, Velociraptor, and Moros Intrepidus, which is kind of strange. Again, why would they have? Why would they? They love repainting Velociraptors way too many times. And we, they already had a Moros, so there's another one. And I, I don't. I mean, the Lystrosaurus is new, but um, previous collection. So um, what we're going to do? Yeah, go to quiz, cause, boom. So we already finished name. We could do abilities. There's one more in ability. Let's do abilities. We're gonna do like free quizzes. Okay, ready? Uh, Ornithalustes is a small yet quick predator. Yes. What is the approximate length of an adult Gassosaurus? I knew it was that. I accidentally clicked on that one. Dang it! The maximum length of Hererosaurus is 40 feet. I knew that. Unlike most crocodiles, Posasugus climbs in trees. Is afraid of water. Walks on two legs. Feeds on grass. Uh, which a sense of Tarbosaurus is greatly uh, heightened, heightened uh, in comparison to other dinosaurs? Sense of hearing, sense of taste. What? Then what was Camp Cretaceous on about then? Uh, the cone-shaped teeth of Ornithalustes are useful for holding prey. True. How does Calovasaurus move? Uh, two feet. I don't know what Calovasaurus looks like. Okay. Unlike many herbivores such as Stegosaurus and Brontosaurus, a Calovasaurus usually lives on the ground, stands on two feet. And crest of the head, uh, the crest on the head of Crylophosaurus is useful for recognizing the other members of its group. Heh <laughs> I'm a pro at this. Gassosaurus is approximately the same size as Velociraptor, T Rex, Chicken. Siggy Malik has a dome on her head shaped like a pier. Nah, I'm proing. When a Montosaurus uh, wants to flee, she dives in water, wands on two legs. What is the head of the cryl? What is on the head of the Cryolophosaurus? Horns, a crest. I know I'm a pro at this. When she is attacked, Sorpelto tries to outrun her predator. Hey, we won! Let's go, Cryolophosaurus, Ramphorhynchus, Triceratops. I was expecting Gasosaurus since that was a few of them, but. All right, now um, we still have food discovery, skills, behaviors, habitat. Present. I mean, it's still gonna unlock new ones, but you need a bunch of uh, stuff. So um, we're gonna try to do more. Yeah, we're gonna do three more. We're gonna do one from each of these. So we already did one from Primal Attack. So let's do Dino Rivals. Behavior of skills, behaviors. Here we go. All right, in the film. What is the presumed rank of Velociraptor Delta within the Raptor Squad? Second in command? Which of the following personality traits fits the Albertosaurus best? Friendly, shy, aggressive. The Staracurosaurus uh, travels in large groups of individuals known as swarms, herds. Why do Proceratops live together in herds as large as 100 individuals to keep them warm at night because they love to chat for security against predators. Got none of them wrong so far. The Monolophosaurus is bigger than and more dangerous than the Dilophosaurus, her well-known cousin. Oh. Just when the Staracosaurus is not threatened by predators, what is their usual behavior? Passive. The Albertosaurus lives in packs. In the movie, what do Tyrannons do after they break free from the aviary? They attack a nerd herd of Saracosaurus. They attack the park visitors. Uh, uh, what can be said about the pairs of all of his social behavior? She is aggressive and lives alone. She is aggressive and lives in large herds. She is passive and lives in large herds. 
where, where, uh, where were, uh, spectacularly, spe what am I reading right now? Spectac- so, yeah, I'm not, I'm just not reading that. Preserved specimen of the ramp ring is discovered. Mexico. Germany. Japan? I don't care. I'm just, oh. I won either way. Behaviors. Baby Rex. Dime. Blah. Stog. Yay! And we got another one. Attr attributes. Mm -hmm. Habitat or personality traits. So habitat again. The personality traits in the next episode. What type of habitat does the Minmi live in? Deserts where water is hard to find. Mm -hmm. Maralosaurus lives in marshlands near small mountains and some volcanoes. What? What type of environment does the Spinosaurus live in? Swamp and humid forests, sandy deserts, grassy plains, and low mountains. What type of environment does the Ceratosaurus live in? High mountains with no. No. Medium dry plains. Few streams of water. No. Hey. What type of environment does the Dimorphodon live in? In dry plains and forests near the sea. What type of environment does the Stegosaurus live in? Rocky seashore. No. <laughs> Just that one. Which type of environment does the Velociraptor live in? Underwater, in lakes and rivers. What? Uh, <laughs> in dry environments, full of sand dunes, on high and snowy mountains. That's what it is. The Tyranon builds her nest on warm and rocky islands. Yes. The Spinosaurus is the land is a land only dinosaur that stays away from water. False. The sticky monarch lives alongside Tyrannosaurus Rex and Triceratops. Ooh. Yay! I only got like one wrong. Let's go. Arlosaurus, Gallimimus. Dilophosaurus, Velociraptor, and finally, that's it. All right. Um. So, now that's done. Um, that's enough of doing this. But what we will do is say goodbye. Say goodbye. Uh huh. Anyway. Um <laughs> Anyway, this is quite of a shorter episode, so let's oh no. So let's go let's go ahead and I'm about to say goodbye, okay? So that was it for today's video of Jurassic World Facts Have a short. What no. Uh but quite a cool fun episode that we did. And the reason why is cause uh, well, it turns out that it's probably possible that we are in it. Ah. Anyway, so I'm about to say goodbye. So, oh no. Anyway, so goodbye everybody. And tomorrow, there will probably not be a fax up video unless there will. Uh, goodbye.